Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review video for you guys. It's going to be on the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the CC Cream Plus Illumination. So I have tried the CC Cream, the original, but I've only used it once, so I'm not going to compare it to that at all. Um, I'm just going to be reviewing this on its own and giving you my pros and cons towards the CC Cream or foundation, if some would want to call it that. So the first thing that I like is that it does have SPF 50 and it is a physical sunscreen, not a chemical sunscreen. Physical sunscreens, I feel like for me personally, don't make me as oily as chemical sunscreens do. That's just personal preference. I'm guessing that everybody's different, but I love that it's got a physical sunscreen, not a chemical sunscreen in it. So I love that it's got SPF 50. That's really, really good, especially if you're going to be out and about. I think that um, a high SPF is really, really nice for a daily basis. Um, I love the coverage of it. One layer, I'm good to go out the door, but I can build it if need be. Um, in the clip that I will show you of it applying on my face, um, I do go in with one layer and then I go in with just a little bit more on targeted areas. I don't need to do that every day just because I'm quite content with the coverage that it does provide, but it is nice to know that I can build it up if I need to. It is extremely long wearing. I don't feel like I need to wear a primer with this product and I don't need to set it with a powder. That doesn't mean that I can't. It just means that even if I do not set them with a powder or use a primer, I still get the longevity out of the product, which I love. It doesn't make my skin feel dry, which is really, really nice. Um, I find that with some foundations, they can make my skin feel a little bit tight at the end of the day. This, I have not felt anything like that, so that's really, really good. It looks so ridiculously natural looking on the skin, especially if you don't set it with a powder. Not saying that if you set it with a powder, you're going to be a cake face, but if you don't set it with a powder, honestly, it just looks so gorgeous. It looks like you have moisturized skin. Like, that's all it looks like. It looks gorgeous. It's just one of those no fuss, slap on, no need to think about it kind of foundations, or CC cream, I should say. I love how this sits on the skin. It's so natural looking. It doesn't look like you've got like a layer of pigment on top of the skin. It really does morph with the skin and it does look so absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's talk about the cons. I hate the color selection. The color selection is shit, both on amount of shades available and the undertones available. So it's available in fair, light, medium, which I own, tan and rich I do believe those are the five shades. For me personally it does match me when I do have my Santro Pay Fake tan on. Um, medium does match me quite well but if I use like for example my Bondi Sands or even my Santro Pay in the dark formula that's a little bit more green based this doesn't match me and there's no real option for different undertones in this product which is such a shame. So another con about this foundation that really just depends. I personally don't really I'm not that fussed about this one, but it does have a lot of kind of illuminating pigments in it or like little shimmers. That is to be expected because it is called illuminating and it's really hard for a CC cream or any foundation really to be illuminating without actually putting illuminating particles into a foundation or a CC cream in my opinion. Um, it's not detectable on the skin, like you don't look like a disco ball, um, but if you are quite close like around here you could probably see the sparkles on your face. All right, so let's talk about the price of this foundation. In America, this is 38 US dollars. And in Australia, you can get this at Sephora. It is around 58 Australian dollars the last time that I checked on the website. In this bottle, you do get 32 mil, which is quite a random amount. Normally, foundations will have 25 mil, 30 mil. It's really random to have 32 mil, but whatever. We're just going to roll with it. I love the packaging. It's a plastic squeeze tube, but I love that it has a pump as well. I feel like this is so good. Um, I do have a Guerlain BB cream that's very similar packaging to this, and I love this type of packaging. Like, if it's a squeeze tube, I love that it's a squeeze tube, so if you drop it, it's not going to break, but I love how it's still got a pump, so you can measure out how much you're using, as well as as well as it's still being very, very hygienic and you're not kind of like squeezing it out and then letting air back into it, you know what I mean? So I really love the packaging. It's got a, it's just the bottle, squeezy, so it's really good. And then you've got the lid to obviously lock the cap so you don't just get foundation everywhere. So I personally really do like this foundation. I would repurchase it again. Um, 
I do apply it with a brush and I just literally pump out a pump and a half onto my hand. If I want more coverage, I do another half pump. Um, and I literally just go all over my face. It's so quick. It's so easy. You don't get any like unevenness. Just make sure that you go over your face really good. And it's just so easy and so like I'm just in love with it. It's really, really good. I cannot wait to give the original version more of a chance. But I've just been loving this one so much that I can't really not use it. You know what I mean? That's all I really have to say about this CC cream. I really, really do like it. If you can get your right shade, um, or if you can get a sample of it, definitely give it a go. Um, I do hope they do come out with different undertones because I feel like they have really hit the like the nail on this one, like in terms of formulation. I like how I don't get shiny throughout the day. It doesn't emphasize my pores. It just looks so, so, so gorgeous. So yeah. That's all I really have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed and you benefited from this video in some way. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.